So this is definitely left ear. We can see here that we have some residual uh, graft here, which was used by the previous surgeon, but didn't work. And if I elevate the flap like this, or the, the previous graft, we have a total perforation. And I think probably there's no more ossicular chain. So I would have to perform a total reconstruction with using a, a malleus replacement prosthesis. But first I need to, to remove this uh, piece of tissue here which is not, not working well. Some cartilage also in the middle. Ciseau. Ciseau. And then the plan will be to perform a, a total uh, tympanic membrane reinforcement, I mean the graft, total grafting. Yes. So I will take a perichondrum graft. And I think I will need a lot of material. You see the facial nerve here on the deep yeah. end, the, the foot plate there. Okay, so let's do that. So I will perform now first a 360 degree incision all around the, uh, all around the external auditory canal. So this is 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 and 9. So let's do it now. I'm pretty far from the level of the tympanic membrane in the future. I will take the graft after. I just, I just need to explode the middle ear. Decorer. Okay. So, of course, I did this uh, infiltration of the ear canal all around also at, at uh, 12, yeah. 6, and 9 o'clock. Il faudrait me sortir une lame de silastique, s'il vous plaît. Oui. On peut la couper en, en deux, s'il vous plaît. <coughs> Canet mange du marteau. So I just have some residual attachment here which I need to dissect. Ciseau. Décolleur. The plan will be to remove the entire flap. There's, n I would say, some residual uh, tympanic membrane, but I don't think there is any residual tympanic membrane here. I will. I will at the end. Or orientation. Yeah, orientation and to avoid the fact that both sides will stick together. Yeah. Otherwise, it will become really difficult to reposition the flap on the right position. There we go. You can see here that we have some cartilage also. Yeah. I think this should have come on the other side like this. I need to understand what has been done also during the previous operation. Oh, yeah. not, not easy here. I just want to be sure that there will be no skin inside the middle ear. But I think it's fine now. Ciseau. Can you? I think I removed this piece of cartilage, which is uh, not very stable. And then I just want to have only some residual skin there. And that, then I will have to take a, l a lot of material to perform the graft. 
So I will probably take Preconum from the Conca and also the, the Traegus. Traegus or... Traegus in both. Okay. Can they? So I need to preserve the position of the skin, eh? all around like this, that's fine. So now all the posterior part has been elevated, so I need to elevate now the anterior part of the canal. So it's what we call o probably Austin cartouche group D, mean, means absence of ossicular chain. So I need to go anteriorly now. Stop. Vous me tenir un tout petit peu avec le, le bout là. Décolleur. So I probably have to drill out this part of the bony canal wall. It's hiding a little bit this anterior uh, angle. Vous pouvez me sortir le moteur, s'il vous plaît Voilà. Ok. Alors, allez-y. Alors, je vais vous voir. Je vais maintenant drill out the entire wall. Allez-y, celle-là, pour voir. Because I, I just want to expose the anterior angle a little bit more. Pouvez-vous me sortir plus, s'il vous plaît? S'il vous plaît. So I will put a elastic sheet here just to protect the skin. Calme, s'il vous plaît. Vous l'avez, madame? Ok, la fraise. And of course, I need to be cautious about the uh, TM joint. But they can remove the head also. Pardon? Uh, yesterday, one of the authorities in Jordan, we put some pictures for uh, a surgery we performed yesterday. Yeah? For Christiosoma, but what it was extensive, extending anterior, and so he was uh, forced to remove the head of uh, the malice. The okay, yeah. Well, in this case, I don't think there is any residual malice. It's a total absence of ossicular changes. Okay. Décolleur, s'il vous plaît. Pince. Décolleur encore. So I still have to drill out this part of the bone. It's hiding there. Yes, the entire yeah. angle. Yeah. Okay, la fraise. Oui, le monsieur Lastique d'abord. Ok, la fraise.
okay i think it's fine now i can probably move a little bit the table and then i would be fine decolleur here i am at nine o'clock i still don't really see the the analysis but of course the anatomy will be con completely different than normal so she has been operated many times Okay, I think I can control now the anterior angle. I will cut this, uh, open up this middle mucosa here, and you can see the beginning of the eustachian tube. Yeah, of course, because there is no more ossicular chain. Decolor. Can Okay, so now I want to reposition the flap first. Put the stylistic sheet in the middle. And then I think I can remove the flap. Can they? So of course it's important to preserve this residual skin there. But you know, it's retracted, so I will have to make an incision like this, probably at the end. Yes. You did it, you do it always in anterior. Yeah. Well, sometimes depends on the presentation. Sometimes anterior, sometimes inferior, it depends. Okay, I think it's done. So I try to remove it. So of course I keep the elastic in the middle. And I remove the whole flap like this. Okay, so we put that on saline solution until the end of the op of the surgery. And now I will check the ossicular chain. Table vers moi, s'il vous plaît. I need to see how I can place the malice replacement prosthesis. Table vers moi. Stop. I will put it probably at 12 o'clock. I have some residual bone there, so I, I, I think I can insert the malice prosthesis at 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. And that's okay. It depends, but usually we have, if, if we don't have any residual bone on, in the attic area, then I use, I put it at 6 o'clock. But I think here should be okay. So here is the foot plate. So I need now to check the. Uh, so usually it's either upper pole or lower pole. Yes. So that, I think there's some membrane here. Yeah. And the facial nerve is. Uh, facial nerve is there, yeah. but covered, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah, this is a membrane, but I don't want to open it because of the perforation. So the plan here will be to place the uh, simultaneous insertion of the malis prosthesis plus a torque, which will be positioned from the malis prosthesis to the mobile uh, burn and fatty membrane like this. Of course, there's a risk of dislocation of the distal tip of the, of the torque because there's nothing to hide to hold the, the shaft. It would be better with the, with the malice prosthesis, but that would not be completely stable. 
So the risk is to see the, the, the shoe slipping away from the other window. So in that case, I would do a second stage with a stage autonomy through the, I mean, uh, penetrate, penetrate the, the membrane. But I cannot do it now because of, of the presence of the perforation. Vous pouvez, s'il vous plaît, juste deux petites secondes m'interrompre. Je vais la relancer après. So as I need a lot of uh, materials, I take first the perichondrum and, and the cartilage if I can find them from the triggers, both sides of the perichondrum plus the cartilage. Because of course I use this malleus prosthesis which is made in titanium, so I need to interpose a uh, uh, cartilage. It's yes, exactly. Otherwise, there's a risk of uh, extrusion. Yeah. It's very important to cover it completely. Whenever the tip is metal, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, if you are, if you use Idex laptite, you don't need that. But with uh, titanium or any type of uh, metallic material, you need it. Hmm. I don't think there is any residual perichondrum here, but the cartilage is there. Uh, maybe, maybe yes, I have perichondrum. I see, I see that. The plan will be to remove completely the, the cartilage with the perichondrum, and then I will dissect both sides if I can. Now we do the anterior part. I think we have perichondrum, so it's fine. I would take everything. And I think here both sides will be enough. I don't need to take anything from the conca, I think. I will see at the end. If necessary, I, I will go to the conca. But uh, I think it should be OK. So where did he take uh, the previous part of the conca? Well, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe conca, I didn't check. Well, it's pretty strange, yes. Yeah. Uh, there is cartilage. Very cartilage. There is everything. Perichondrum plus cartilage. No, I mean, uh, in the previous... Uh, yeah, yeah. Version, yeah, yeah, I understand. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to the, the plaque. Pretty cool, I think. I have everything there, all the materials I need. I always like to do this first, removing some uh, connective tissue like this from the yeah from the lateral side of the of the per of the tragus. Then I will try to elevate the uh, perichondrum, and then I remove both sides of perichondrum and then I will put them on the press, you know, to press them. So I will start from the other side. Le le no. I so what I like to do is to perform the incision of the perichondrum like this. not going to be very easy to elevate the perichondrum, I think, here, because the cartilage is a little bit thin. The problem is to find the, the right 
cleavage plane, which is not always easy, and I don't, I don't think I have it here. If you ha don't have the right one, the, ra the right plane, then it doesn't work well. <laughs> Bisturi, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This to be okay. The other side, which will be the uh, lateral side of the perichondrum, will be uh, larger. It's always like this. This is why I always start dissecting the medial side of the tragus. You know, it's in this case, because it has probably some thing has been done here has been done here in the past it's not easy to dissect the perichondrum sure about the quality of this side but I will see because you see the cartilage has a strange shape so maybe it took some part of cartilage I don't know strange And of course, I always also want to preserve the cartilage because the cartilage, I will use the cartilage. Okay, I think this side is done. This story. We could elevate both sides as a whole. That's a, also another possibility. But I prefer my I prefer to use both sides separately. Uh -huh. This is why I cut it now, and then I will dissect the uh, lateral side. And then use the two pieces. Yes, but I, I prefer that. Uh, some people, I'm sure many surgeons would use one piece, but I like to have both pieces because I know that I will cover one by the other one and sp specifically uh, at the infer angle. I remember that you used two pieces uh, for... Always. Whether it's uh, total preparation or... Yeah. Preparation. Yes, exactly or even an anterior one. So I put that on the press. Now I will dissect the, uh, the uh, lateral side. Uh, again, the same thing, we need to be in the right plane. Story. 
les couleurs. Bistouri. Des couleurs. You see, I'm holding the cartilage with my uh, left hand and then dissecting the perichondrum. Now the cartilage seems to be really nice. Uh, I, I have to trim it, but not that much because it's not a really thick one, so it's going to be fine. It takes a long time to do this, but that's really important to spend time to be sure that we are elevating the whole thing in, 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 in a preserving as much as we can the, the, the perichondrum and, and the cartilage. Yes, so it's this I don't think I can use it because it's already cut or separated, but this part will be fine for the malleus prosthesis. So you need a large piece of cartilage for malleus? Yes, yes. In the beginning, when I was uh, starting this technique, I, I was trimming the cartilage to reduce its size. Uh, a little bit uh, thicker than the, the handle of, a, of the MRP, but then I found that it was not it was moving a little bit in with time and, and, and then there was a risk of uh, prosthesis extrusion uh -huh. so now I, I use a large one so I will probably cut that you see and I will use this part but first I will put the <coughs> perichondrum the, the second part of the perichondrum which is the lateral side I will put it on the press also Okay, I think we should have a large graph. So I see if I need to take other materials from the concave, but I think it should be okay. Have you changed the lamp, s'il vous plaît? So of course now I want to trim the cartilage. And I, I don't use the cartilage trimmers, but I think you know I don't need to to remove too much ca of cartilage here. So it's pretty thin already. I know that cartilage trimmer is fine. We have one here, but uh, I like to do it myself like this. Just a personal, personal way. If, of course, if it's too thick, this will impair. What, this is what I think. It could impair the mobility of the tympanic membrane. This is, as you know, I don't like too much the cartilage uh, cartilage as a material for tympanic membrane grafting. I use it only for uh, interposition when I use uh, titanium prosthesis, that's all. I think it's fine, I think it's fine. There we go, you see it's flexible now because it's thinner and I think it will be good enough. So we would use it like this. I can reduce a little bit from here. Alors il faudra une prothèse marteau plus une prothèse totale, hein, la grace. Okay, that's fine now, okay? So I will use it like this. I put on saline solution also. Here we go. Okay, so let's go back to the middle ear now. Vous pouvez peut-être remettre sur pause encore, s'il vous plaît, le temps qu'on se mette en place. So you understand my problem is that I don't have a flat area here yeah. to uh, fix to 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 have a good stability of the nice stability, efficient stability of the graft. Yeah. So I'm recreating a kind of uh, canal here. Yes, this is at uh, six o'clock. 
Because you know, I want I want to have uh, something to place the the graft over it. Yeah. And this will be a, a real issue here. But there will be definitely lateralized tympanic membrane after that. But because I'm using this uh, malice prosthesis, I can place it lateral also in the ear canal. So I'm using a diamond burr yeah. and not a cutting burr because I want to uh, just make some kind of sculpture here with a uh, bone. So this is the station tube. Okay, I will do it here, also on the left. So this is the flat area where I will place the graft, you see? This will hold the graft. Because I, I will place the graft, as usual, over uh, the bony canal wall and also over the maddest procedures, of course. if I can do something anteriorly. I, I'm not sure because the, again the exposure is not really good. Tableau en avant. And of course as I said the problem is that the presence of a TMG so I don't want to TMJ will be a problem. Still stop. Il faut que me le tenir en devant là parce que là. Un peu moins. Voilà. Merci. I will put the graft definitely more lateral than the regular tympanic membrane, but I don't think I have any choice. I cannot place it deeper, but I think this position will be fine. Okay, that's all. That's that's all now. In fairly, table vers moi. So now I need to drill out some area on the right at twelve o'clock. Stop, because I want to have a flat area to be able to insert the malleus prosthesis. Then I need to uh, flatten the uh, the bone at uh, between twelve and two o'clock. Stop. Inspiration. Oui, oui, pour l'instant c'est bien pour moi parce que...
this area, you see? I need to flatten this area. Why here you want to place the... I, I want to place the MRP at that here. Uh -huh. So this means that I need to flatten this area a little bit. La presse. Oui. And this will also help me to place the graft and to stabilize the graft. Exactly. That was I was trying to do that anteriorly, but anteriorly was not possible. So I created it at uh, at the superior part of the canal, uh, posterior part, inferior part. That was good enough, I think. For the stability of the of the graph. graph. Yes. So both the graft and the malleus prosthesis will be will be there. Yeah. Because of course, as you remember, I will have to drill out two holes for the two hooks of the malleus prosthesis. Yeah. Okay, I think it's fine. I think I can now drill out two holes for the malice procedure. So I will do it now. You are always replacing the four malice procedure. Yeah, it depends. If I have a flat area which is flat enough, then I don't do it. But as you notice, in that case, it was not good enough, so I had to do it. Curate, s'il vous plaît. Okay, I think it's better than before. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's better than before. Unfortunately, I cannot create the analyst entirely, but the, the, the graph will be there, lying over the bone all around. So it, I think it should help. Okay, so now, on va remettre sur pause, s'il vous plaît, parce que je vais expliquer. Allez, inspiration encore, s'il vous plaît. Alors, évidemment, comme on s'y attendait, il n'y a absolument plus rien au niveau des, des osselets. On a une absence complète de, de chaîne ossiculaire. Il n'y a plus de marteau, plus d'enclume, plus d'étrier. La seule chose qui reste, c'est cette membrane ici au fond, euh, qui est une membrane qui remplace en fait euh, la platine de l'étrier. Elle est a priori euh, mobile. Vous avez cette fenêtre ici. We can check the round window here. See if it's mobile. Difficult to see that. J'essaie de voir si j'obtiens un mouvement dans cette fenêtre, ce qui n'est pas évident à voir. Difficult to see, yeah. But anyway, I cannot open up this membrane, so I will have to check that sec uh, at a second stage. 
Bon, pour l'instant, c'est difficile de savoir si euh, on a le contact avec euh, l'oreille interne dessous, puisque je n'arrive pas à voir le, le signe au niveau de cette fenêtre. Mais de toute façon, je ne peux pas ouvrir cette membrane tout de suite à cause de la perforation du tympan. Donc, de toute façon, il faudrait envisager cette intervention dans un deuxième temps. Je vais quand même faire une reconstruction complète. D'abord, la mise en place d'une prothèse qui remplace le marteau. En même temps, je mettrai une prothèse totale qui va s'appuyer sur cette membrane. Et si le résultat n'était pas correct, à ce moment-là, il faudrait en un deuxième temps, avec l'ouverture ici de cette membrane, rentrer en contact avec l'oreille interne. So the plan again will be to place the malus prosthesis here. The handle will be over here, and I will put a torque from the MRP to the membrane like this. Of course, the best would be to open up this membrane and to fenestrate the membrane. But as I said, I cannot do it because of the perforation of the tympanic membrane. So I take the risk of not having a good result. And then in that case, I will do a second stage, removing the torp, uh, keeping the MRP in place, of course, performing a fenestra, and then placing a torp with a Teflon shaft. Voilà, donc on va aller placer maintenant la prothèse marteau. Alors là, il est à moi. Je n'ai pas d'avis, s'il vous plaît. Voilà, on va placer la prothèse marteau, qui est la plus importante de toutes, puisque de toutes les prothèses qu'on va mettre ici, puisque c'est celle qui me permet d'avoir euh, une stabilité du montage, de toute façon, quel qu'il soit, puisque je n'ai plus du tout d'osselé. Donc, euh, la seule manière d'avoir une chance de stabiliser les choses, c'est de mettre en place quelque chose qui tienne. Et c'est cette prothèse-là. So, you see this malice prosthesis, so we have the two hooks on the right. That's the only chance to have uh, any stability of the torp, because of course I will position the torp in contact with the MRP. So first I will drill out the first hole for the, for the right hook. I have already one hook, one hole here, so maybe I can use it here. You can see one here. Uh, it's going to be too big, so I don't, I'm not going to use that. It's not going to be stable. So I need to make one hole here, I think, and one here, if I can. So, because I have also some bone here. Let me see. I have to decide exactly where to do the, the two hole, to drill out the two hole. Il faut que je décide de l'emplacement de la prothèse marteau. Donc ça, ça dépend de la qualité de l'os que, que j'ai ici. C'est important. Je vais le placer là. Anyway, I will do a first hole here. This one, I'm not going to use it, because it, you see it's too big. I don't think it's going to be too stable if I place it like this. So that's not good. So I will drill out this area. Donc, redonnez-moi la fraise d'abord. So I think I need to drill out a little bit more the super part of a bony canal wall. Because I want to drill out, uh, to place this uh, MRP on a, n a good bone, uh, a good quality of bone. La fraise, la même que tout à l'heure. Yeah. <coughs> Voilà, là je suis en train d'aplanir juste la partie osseuse en haut pour pouvoir avoir un petit peu plus de place pour mettre cette prothèse marteau. Ça va être bien dans quelques, quelques minutes. Ok, that's fine. All right, now it's good. So now I will drill out the first hole. I will drill out here. It's quite thick, but that's good enough, I think. Bon, allez, donnez-moi maintenant la fraise pour faire les... Voilà, on va donc faire une première, euh, un premier fraisage ici, un premier trou pour euh, le premier des deux crochets. This is a 0.6 millimeter uh, diameter. Un peu de serum, s'il vous plaît, à côté. Burr. Of course, the bone is very, very strong here. De l'eau, s'il vous plaît. Very strong. Ok, 
skinny red, eh? Mettre ici, canne s'il vous plaît, il faut que je vois un peu si l'ouverture est assez longue. Il faut qu'elle qu soit au moins aussi longue que les crochets, ce qui n'est pas le cas encore. Allez, donnez-moi encore. Bon, là, il va falloir que vous arrosiez parce que... Vous avez une neuve là, s'il vous plaît The bone is very, very strong, but it's not a problem, I will do it. And then I will have a nice hole. It's hard with that. Yeah, very hard. But of course here, this is the hard bone, we know that, so... Voilà, on va changer juste la fraise. Le problème, c'est qu'il faut que mon ouverture soit assez profonde pour que, le, évidemment, le, le crochet soit bien enfoncé dans l'os. Il faut en commander d'autres. Hein ça Je vais le voir. Oui, oui, c'est ça. Oui, allez-y. Ne ah, bougez pas, vous êtes bien là. Non, non, c'est bien, c'est bien. There we go. Fine. Now it's done. We have a complete uh, opening now. The through the bone. Through it's a tunnel through the bone. It's good enough, yeah. The size of the bird was uh, different? 0.6. La fraise encore. I just have to finalize this part. There we go. Okay, good enough now, I think. Voilà, donc ça c'est le, le premier. Il faut maintenant déterminer la position du second. Du second euh, orifice euh, en rapport avec le deuxième, le deuxième crochet. So I need now to drill out the second hole. So the first one will be here, now the second one will be here. It will be softer, I think, here. There we go. Okay, so now I need to place the MRP. Voilà, on va placer maintenant cette prothèse marteau. Je vous disais, donc, c'est la prothèse, finalement, la part la plus importante, celle-là, puisque c'est celle qui va nous assurer le maximum de soutien pour euh, le montage euh, associé. Un 12 Ok. Voilà, donc maintenant, il faut qu'on positionne cette prothèse marteau à l'intérieur des deux orifices. Alors, le problème, c'est d'arriver à la placer, évidemment. Il faut me la changer, s'il vous plaît, là. It doesn't want to go, eh? I think I need to insert this one first and then the second one. There we go. Now it's fine. So we have a nice uh, new Mali sandal as you can see. I will use this bone to stabilize, but it's going to be fine, eh? I think, with time. Bon, alors il faut que j'essaie de stabiliser cette partie-là. 
évidemment le trou est plus profond donc il se décroche un peu on va voir comment je peux le bloquer so I put bone here to stabilize this hook voilà là c'est pas mal après il va se stabiliser avec le temps de toute façon il va s'ossifier so here is the now the good condition now and now I need to measure the distance from uh, this membrane to the malicendo mesureur donc on va mesurer maintenant la hauteur entre cette uh, prothèse marteau et le nouveau manche du marteau donc uh, et donc et le, la membrane ici pretty long I think I'm going to use uh, 8 mm long prosthesis 8 mm but now I need to do the graft alors, il faut donc maintenant qu'on place la greffe dans un premier temps. Table en avant, s'il vous plaît. Encore, stop. Oui, la plaque en verre, s'il vous plaît. Oui, je veux bien. Plaque en verre. I have to think about how to place the graph. I think this will be for the entire angle. Try to use that like this. Bistouri, s'il vous plaît. So I will make the incision like this. So I will, I can overlap the, the, the graph for the entire angle. Yes. I put the Maintenant, peut-être lui mettre un peu de sérum, s'il vous plaît. Parce que c'est un large one. Pretty nice. Yeah. Then I have the second part, of course. Voilà, donc je vais placer maintenant la greffe. So I had to build up this uh, anterior uh, annulus, of course. Otherwise, there's, there was no chance of stabilizing, stabilizing this uh, graft. Yeah. This will not be perfect, of course, but it's so difficult to deal with this uh, situation. But you know the graft is not bad, covering the entire perforation. Yeah. I may not even need the second part. I will see. So I will overlap these two parts, putting this Part first. Yeah, but I don't mind because yeah. uh, you know I pressed it, so it's a thin cartilage. Well, it so yeah, it's nice because it's covering the bone and also all 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 around. Okay, looks good. Voilà, donc là je suis en train de refaire le tympan. Ça c'est la première étape aussi importante que les osseler puisque sans tympan ça ne peut pas fonctionner donc là je suis en train de placer la greffe du mieux possible and you see the malleus process is there yes, so I think it's pretty good Je vais prendre la deuxième. So I use now the second part here. Not the cartilage. Uh, then the cartilage at the end. Okay. Allons-y. Deuxième partie de la greffe, s'il vous plaît. Pince. Micro pince. Micro pince. Oh, c'est pas C'est pas rien. La plaque en verre. Very interesting reconstruction, eh? but very tricky. Cadenet. So that's the second part. Ça, c'est la deuxième partie de la greffe. Bistouri.
Voilà, donc ça, ça va pas être utilisé. C'est la deuxième partie de la greffe que je vais placer sous la première. On va s'appliquer également sur le manche. So I will pull it over the Mali sandal and covering the, the two hooks. Okay, and now of course the whole bone is covered, but I will reposition then the, the skin also. So this is the anterior angle. Yes. And of course we hope that it's going to stay like this, which is of course difficult, but but I will try to do my best with Jeff Ohm to, uh, you know, feel this anterior angle. So why is this for anterior angle? Is this for the station tube position or what? No, it's because it, there is always a risk. As soon as you elevate the anterior angle, uh, that's the beginning of a risk of lateralization. But in that case, there is no way, no other way to do it. Okay, now it's fine. Table vers moi. So I will put the torp, put the cartilage, I mean, stop. And then I will put the torp. Voilà, donc là, la greffe est, est bien. On va aller placer maintenant le cartilage. Il me le faut pour euh, protéger euh, le tympan, c'est important. Canelé, parce que cette prothèse en marteau est en, en, est en titane et il faut absolument euh, l'isoler du tympan. Allons-y. Le cartilage maintenant. Alors, une pince. Vous venez sur une plaque aussi. Plaque en verre. Ok, I don't need the entire cartilage, it's too big. So I will cut it there. Because the pericardium, the double pericardium makes things also pretty thick, mm -hmm. so this will also protect the tympanic membranes. But this, I think I will place it at the end, because I, I think I need to place the torque first. Otherwise, there will be no gap to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I will put the torque. Yeah. Bon. Alors, on va couper maintenant la prothèse. Euh, tenez. À la longueur décidée, c'est-à-dire qu'en fait, c'est la longueur maximale. Faites voir ce que j'ai sur le, la boîte là. Montrez-moi la boîte, s'il vous plaît. I think I need to keep it uh, because this will be seven. Euh, non, en fait, ça va faire, ça va faire ça. C'est bon. Non, ça va. Donnez-moi la de quoi couper. So I need an 8 mm length prosthesis, so I will just cut the distal tip like this, but not that much. This will be 8 then now. Yes. It's 1 uh, mm through the through the head. Yes. That pants. Voilà, donc on va aller placer cette prothèse. Donc c'est cette prothèse-là qui peut ne pas fonctionner correctement puisque elle risque de reposer sur quelque chose d'instable. Le, le pied risque de glisser. La tête, normalement, va rester bien stable grâce à la prothèse marteau. Mais par contre, euh, il y a une grosse, un gros risque d'instabilité du, du fût distal, la partie distal. Et donc c'est dans ce cas-là, on aurait à nouveau une, une audition qui ne tiendrait pas. Et donc il faudrait réintervenir avec... Euh, la création d'une petite ouverture à travers, la plate, la, à travers cette membrane, comme je vous l'expliquais tout à l'heure. So, this is the position of the torp. As I said, I place it over this membrane. So, it may work, of course, if, uh, if the prosthesis stays in place. But there is a high risk of dislocation of this distal tip of the prosthesis, of course, because there's nothing to hold the shoe itself. And the fact that we can use this malprosthesis, we put this malprosthesis lateral in the ear canal, we, we can deal with lateralization of tympanic membrane. So you see it's mobile, so it looks very nice, of course. And so we need to see if it's going to be stable or not. I move a little bit anteriorly this malprosthesis because I believe it's going to help. And it looks pretty good here. Voilà, donc on va essayer de replacer maintenant la greffe pour ce que, voir ce que ça donne. Alors, si tout va bien, je placerai le cartilage. Et peut-être un peu longue. 
it's slightly too long, I think. Yes, it's a little bit too long. So I need to reduce the length, otherwise it's not going to be stable. Bon, on va la raccourcir. On met à peu près un millimètre, je pense qu'à 7, elle sera mieux. On va faire tout de suite. I want to see the, I want to feel the, the position of the, of the, of the process without any tension. So I will cut it step by step and find the right length. So this is, this is going to be seven. Voilà, donc ça, on coupe à six. Yes, the previous one was eight, yes. This is seven now. So we try with seven and see if it works. If not, I will reduce the length. Allez, on va la repositionner. Bon, je l'ai réduite à 7. C'est vraiment un travail euh, d'étape par étape jusqu'à ce qu'on soit content de la, de la position finale. I cannot make it too short, of course. That's the problem. We need to find the right length. <laughs> by definition, the right is the right one. So, but it's not easy. But too much tension will not work. If it's too long, it doesn't work also. So it is slightly better, I think. Can be short though. Sorry? Can be uh, short and uh, more. We can. Because there will be uh, charges also. Yes, I know. So I need to reduce the length. Oh, il faut que je la réduise encore, c'est trop long. In fact, that was 7.5, now it's going to be 7. Voilà, là maintenant on est à 7. Tout à l'heure c'était à 7.50 en l'ayant raccourci. Et maintenant on, est à 7, on va être à 7. Toute la difficulté, c'est de trouver la longueur idéale. Si c'est trop court, vous comprenez tout de suite que ça ne peut pas marcher. Et si c'est trop long, il y a trop de tension et ça ne marche pas non plus. Cannelé. Now, I think this is better. still bulging of course but it's, this is normal and I don't want to shorten it because if I shorten it it's not going to work Stable there. Bon, pour l'instant, j'ai pas encore la bonne stabilité du montage. Il faut que je change la position de ce manche. But this malleus process is very flexible. So I understand that I have to put it a little bit more anterior like this. And now I think it's going to be better. Yes, now it's better. The, the trick is that you have to, the, the tip is that you try to place the process, then you place the black, the, sharp, the flap like this, then re-elevating the flap. And if it's too long, then you can see the process dislocating, but not anymore now. So I think the length is good. 
But now, of course, we, we need to place the cartilage. Yes. Alors, on va placer le cartilage maintenant. Ok, allons-y. Ah, il est trop gros celui-là, la faites voir. Donnez-moi l'autre, je vais le tailler. I will use the other one. Uh, bistouri, s'il vous plaît. Oh, this is too thick, so I cut this part. And I will use this one. There we go. Strange, eh? Strange graft and strange reconstruction. <laughs> Very thick one. But it's stable, you see that? Yeah. Very complex reconstruction. But you know it's going to be retracted, so it will be better with time. Yeah. Uh, the graph. Yeah, you could see the cartilage going down a little bit. Okay, so we we'll consider to put more. Yes, a little bit more, because if you don't have too much, if you don't have enough tension, then it will not work. Uh -huh. Voilà. Donc là, je pense que la reconstruction est bien. Elle, elle reste bien en position, ce que je, ce que je cherche à obtenir depuis tout à l'heure. Là maintenant, là, la prothèse marteau est bien enclenchée. Donc je remets en place la greffe. Et maintenant, on va repositionner surtout euh, la la peau, puisque c'est ce qui nous reste à placer maintenant. Ok. Right. So I will place back the skin now. And thanks to the elastic band in the middle of both sides, I should be able to adapt. So I need to dry out the, the flap. Voilà, je repositionne maintenant ce qu'on appelle le lambeau tympanomiatal, c'est-à-dire en fait la peau du conduit. Et là, il va falloir le couper parce que c'est sûr qu'on n'a pas de... On n'a pas assez de peau, mais ça c'est bien parce que dessous j'ai la greffe, donc il n'y a pas de problème. So I will cut the skin, of course, as I explained. So I hope the first thing to hope is to have a closed depending membrane at the end instead of a perforation that we had before, okay? Yeah. And of course, the second hope would be to have a, a, a good stability and, and no uh, risk of uh, prosthesis dislocation or lateralization. That's 